I was the guy first. <laughs> and then somebody fell into my knee two years in a row. But outside of me, <laughs> I didn't want to say. <laughs> Welcome back to the Incentives. We're back with a special combo. We have its own little setup for this. We're doing by a former MVP himself, Kevin Grant. Should have won two, I think. Is I'm not going to go there. Okay. I'm not. I do want to talk about this year's race. One of the closer races I can remember. And I think the award just continues to get scrutinized. And we're having more and more guys go, I don't think the MVP is. Yeah. Is that how you feel? I feel that way as a fan. I watch and go, we change this every year. Maybe, you know, we do we decide what this award is? Because it's different every time. Everybody's looking back. Yeah. Um, more so than anything, I think, I, it's so many MVP caliber players that is making the conversation hard uh, each and every day. And it's making, it's changing the criteria every day because so many players playing that level, dog. We got MB doing these doing. Jokic killing. Giannis. Killing. Looper. Killing. I know the record is not there, but as far as their production and how, the type of basketball they play in is MVP level basketball. Uh, who else we can throw in there? Uh, Tatum. Tatum. Sorry, forgot about Tatum. That's five guys. Like they, and I'm not talking about just like the, the great team, low stat type of MVPs. I mean, these guys are putting up 30 points a night. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. One day, I might have a case for what Luke is doing. I might look at some in context to see what he's doing with his team and see how much weight he's pulling and value that into how I want to vote for the MVP and choose him one day. But also, Jason Tatum, team just won 15 in a row. And he <laughs> averaged 30 as well. So what am I really looking at? I just, I just think it's so much talent and so much production in the league. It's hard to pinpoint what it really means to be an MVP. The, the Jokic combo is interesting because it becomes like three other combos. It's like, should a guy win three times in a row? Should a guy? Yeah. He's never won three playoff series. He's, all this stuff. If there's a regular season war, and it is supposed to be for just this year. Yeah. And then it turns into like, um, he won as a six seed. I thought you can't do that. And oh, you're basing it off analytics. And, but he's also averaging a triple double. And he's also has the best record in the conference. And yeah. I don't know, like, it's. He's basically come out and said, yo, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> I mean, we all are. I think we all are. I think a lot of fans of the game, uh, obviously, we want to know who's the MVP, but the nonstop, you know, arguing about who it is each day for the season. We've been doing this since January. Every day. It's, one day is Embiid. One day is Giannis. One day is Jokic. It's just like the conversation is getting tired, but a lot of these guys are playing great ball. And, and I really truly feel like three guys can win an MVP and it'll be fine. Like, nobody's wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Four guys, I think. I'll we'll I, I put Tatum, uh, MB, Jokic, and Giannis in there. And, like, you pick any one of those guys and you wouldn't make a wrong pick. So it, it's, it's, it's tough right now. But then you got to have the right narrative. People got to understand your story. You got to also sell yourself a little bit <laughs> on it. it like you said, we don't really know what the true criteria is. You know, it's, it's funny because it is a constant conversation. I mean, I was doing Run It Back with FanDuel, and it was like one of the first segments we did on the very first show of the season. Who's going to win MVP? We're talking about that in October. Crazy. And it's just a consistent conversation from there, and it changes. I mean, Jason Taylor, best record in the league, half of the season, Javis third was game. Jokic is averaging a triple double. Joel Luke leading the league in scoring. He's the three seed. Giannis is the best record in the league. He's his incredible numbers. He's third in scoring. He's a fifth in rebounding. And he's Giannis, amazing. And it's like, I don't know, like, it sucks because they all could win. Somebody's not. Somebody's going to feel robbed. They put all these variables. I always feel like guys get their time, their their chance. It's their, it's their turn. So I, that's kind of why the young, uh, Joel is going to win. But... You know, you're a fan of the game, you're watching it. And now I'm about, in about two minutes, I'm about to ask you who your MVP is. <laughs> I just think it, it's, it's been more emphasis on MVP with just the legacy talk around our game, just how important that's become is evaluating and rating these players against the history of the game. 
So now the talk of like, well, you have to be an MVP if you want to be in these conversations that we have in our podcast, <laughs> you know, for the rest of your life, you know, these all time conversations, you need an MVP. So it just put more emphasis on it, which means it's just going to be more nitpicking it. each and every player, each and every day. It's going to be constant argument from each side of these, these Joe and B fans and Yorkers fans and Philly fans and Milwaukee fans is just another topic that's gotten out of control in my opinion. Look, I'm a beneficiary of this, but it's a it's a part of the the downfall of just constant media, yeah. constant conversation, and you know we shouldn't have Jokic going. I don't. I, I'm tired of guys talking about it. It should be an incredible thing for him if he's the first three time in a row MVP ever. That's the start. That's the legendary. He should be able to enjoy that. But he has to sit down and get asked by 20 people every day. What do you think? Is she, do you deserve it? Do you do this? And it's it's become this negative. And like you said, the legacy talk. I, I said in a, in a group chat earlier, like, like le- legacy talk is like, did you do all the stuff Jordan did? And that's basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He was the bar. I mean, but, but he was he was he was what you compared all the great players to. And it's always been like that since he retired. And... It will be like that moving forward. You add more guys in there, the LeBrons, the, uh, of course, Bill, Shaqs, you know, these guys, you get compared to all these guys, but now it's just constant, constant uh, conversation around it. Like, who, who will be in these conversations? And the MVP is what you mean. Yeah, I mean, I do think, I think the world has a little less value than it once did, and it's just because of how we painted it. But I think it, it still matters. It's still something you have yeah, to have as a goal. Like, it's still through the bullshit, you have to get an MVP. I wouldn't say it lost its significance over time. Um, it's because it still matters. Like you still have to play yeah. at that level to become an MVP. Um, so that journey and grind still matters. But the mystique of being an MVP has, like, is not what it once was. It's like. We talk about it too much, same thing you put. Yeah, it's it's much like many of the things. Yeah. With social media, we know too much. Yeah. We talk about it too much. The curtain is sensitized. Yeah. We've been looking behind the curtain for too long now. But like we said, we talked about this last night, the mystique around our favorite player, our favorite artist, anything was a part of it. Like, I didn't know much about you. What you gave, your offering to the earth is what I got from you. That made that connect me with you now. We can see just yeah. about everything that we want. In anything, any industry that we want to be a part of, we can see everything. I will say, it's why I feel like I'm about to make a boy now. I think that's the right idea. You, you I mean, that? Yeah, five. M- MJ got five, huh? You MJ. got five? So Kareem, Kareem has six. Kareem has the most. I don't think Larry Bird got three more. Larry Bird. Did the Larry Bird, I think Larry Bird got three and he three more. I like that he's an encyclopedia for this shit and just can correct me. That's kind of funny. I would expect you to be an encyclopedia for this type of shit. That's my job. I'm not going to do it again. Yeah. You, you, you know it better than me. So, he's as you should. But I think it's dope. It's not at the mic. I think it's looking for him. Like, you told him, bro. And it's an issue. I, I just don't think it's important to get stuff with me. Like, anyway, I think it's fine. So, who is your guy? Cool. Who do you got? Joel and me. Mm-hmm. Joel was my pick last year. He's my pick last year too. I think he's the MVP this year. And it's no disrespect to what Ruckus has done. I, I know what this conversation turns into, but I do value what Joel does defensively a lot. I've watched him break games defensively. It ain't even, it ain't even defensively to me. It's just, mm-hmm. I don't know this he's just dumb. He's really he's just small, small, he's unstoppable. unstoppable. I actually think Giannis is second if I'm doing my rankings. I just think Giannis might win. I think Giannis is going to He could, uh, but I think he missed a lot of games too, though, right? They're I all think about, that may have. Uh, they're all. The same. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, shit then. They're all about the same as far as games go. I, I just think Joel is. I think it's his turn. I, I actually cared about that. Yeah. I think I think, I think think it's. It's not like he is a. Like, 